Ashley is going to be Cleopatra today. And as always, you can build this on top of any already applied stage eyeshadow application. I'm going to start though from scratch so that you can see it up close and personal as we go along. We're going to be using black, brown, peach, and cream from our standard Modion Pro palette. But as always, we start with the eyebrows as they are truly the frame to this gorgeous Cleopatra eye. In Ashley's case, I'm going to use the brown shadow to apply her eyebrows. You can use uh, eye shadow, you can use an eyebrow pencil, but we want the color to be at least a full shade darker than hair color. So make sure when you're applying this that it really shows up bold and you're able to have some control. In applying a Cleopatra brow, very different from a standard brow application as it comes straight down at the sides. I always tell you not to do it that way, but in this one, you're going to want to come straight down. The liner on the bottom of the lashes is going to come straight out and the upper one's going to come straight up. So you're going to have these meeting. You're going to need to really come down with that brow. Okay, as you can see, the brows are sweeping down and I've tested on my hand to see the depth of the brows that I wanted to create. I really wanted to make them nice and dark. So from a distance, they were very, very exotic. I'm beginning my liner now and close. The liner is going to go very close along the lash line and you're going to sweep up towards the end of the eyebrow. It's going to give you a nice lift. And it can be helpful. I did a dry run. It can be helpful to do it dry first and then apply your liner wet after. Open. Beautiful. So I'm getting a nice lift now with that liner coming up. We're making like a cat eye for Cleopatra. So you want to slightly have it come down like a cat eye, coming straight across and slightly slanting down a little bit. On top, it's going to come across the lash line, sweeping up almost to do that brow. In fact, it's really going to end up in that brow as I now apply the black eyeshadow. And I'm going to go right into that eyebrow and I'm going to bring it straight across. Egyptians wore very, very bold black eyeshadow and it went straight across so the eyes look very angular. Beautiful. I'm going to leave part of that lid free though. Don't apply it all across the lid. Leave about half of it there free so that we can still have some lid showing. Take the brown eyeshadow shade and just blend in the edges of the black just to make it seamless. Apply the peach color to warm high up on the bone all the way across, not under the eyebrow, but all the way across to really blend it in and warm the eyes. Open. Lastly, we're going to highlight. I'm going to highlight with a shimmery color. This shimmer color is called Moon Gold in Mode Dion's line. You're going to do it to highlight the arch, the inner eye corner, close your eyes, and down the middle of that lid to really bring it forward. You can see how it's starting to really pop for and look elegant. Open. Beautiful. We're going to take that same shimmer now. And because Egyptians had very high, high cheekbones, and so does Ashley, we're going to make those cheekbones pop even more by adding the shimmer pot and moon gold, really lifting on those cheekbones. Shimmer up high. We're also going to contour along those cheekbones. And we'll use our standard contour cheek, Maud Dion's Natural Cheek Contour, contouring with, of course, all our podcast instructionals will show you how, if you can't remember, just below that cheekbone to even make them more pronounced. Over this way a little. Oh, gorgeous. A little bit of a flush on the cheeks. Smile big. Red apples, just so from a distance the face has a little bit of color. 
And now let's focus on the lips. I went for a lighter lip with Ashley. This is very Cleopatra, Elizabeth Taylor era. And it's so beautiful with the neutral tones of this gorgeous algae costume. I'm going to put just a little glitter to glitz up on her lips, especially around the bow area to really enhance these lips even more because the color is so light. But we're keeping it very, very neutral. I'm also going to use a little bit of Diva Glue, our glitter glue, and I'm going to apply it in the key light catching points to really pull this look out. I already have the white pencil here, but I'm going to add another line and come over of glitter to really accentuate it. And in this case, you will need a brush to apply a very, you won't be able to get it with a Q-tip. This will allow you to get a really fine line with the glitter. That's beautiful, just beautiful. I'm also going to put just a little bit of this glitter in this cat eye area to draw the eyes so they look very cat eye. It really is going to show up beautiful from a distance. And a touch at her brow arch. Fantastic. Lastly, as always, we want to dust off anything that didn't stick. Thanks, Algie, for this beautiful costume. I'm off to roll the Nile.